The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provision of the Act, the Kinlaw Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published in Suburban Trends on March 13, 2022, posted in the Kinlaw Public Library, filed with the Borough Clerk, and posted on the district website. Ms. King, will you call the board? Ms. Stonis? Mr. Eisenhower? Here. Mrs. Fishback? Here. Mrs. Garrett? Here. Mrs. Barillo? Here. Mr. Petroselli? Here. And Mrs. Donaldson? Here. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Routine matters approval of the minutes. A motion to approve the minutes for January 6, March 9th, March 23rd, March 24th, executive, March 24th combined. Motion. Any discussion on the minutes? No. Ms. King, will you pull the board, please? Mr. Petroselli? Yes. Mrs. Barella? Yes. Mr. Giganti? Yes. Mr. Eisenberger? Yes. Ms. Thomas? Yes. Okay. Superintendent's update. Thank you.
topics uh, that are also aligned to our strategic plan, student achievement, college and career readiness, equity, and data collection. So our, each building went through and looked at these goals with the exception of data collection because that's more of a big picture overview goal of the whole district. Uh, so for each building, they've set building goals that are uh, appropriate to the grade spans in their buildings. So um, just an overview, we are on target to meet our student achievement goals at all four schools. And we are also on target to meet our college and career readiness goals. Uh, we made progress to our data collection goals. This is a multi-year goal. This is our first year within the school, so we made significant progress there. And equity is also um, a newer goal for us. We've also made progress there. So looking specifically at Keele, our K-2 school, their English language arts school, uh, where 80% of the kindergarten students, 70% of first grade, and 80% of second grade students will be reading at or above grade level benchmark as measured by the Teachers College Reading and Writing uh, uh, pro, uh, Project, I'm sorry, independent reading levels. So at this point, 62% uh, of our kinder, kindergarten students, 70% uh, of our first grade students, and 80% of our second students, sorry, second grade students are already at or above benchmark, so we're on target to meet that goal by the end of the year. Uh, same thing with math, 80% of first and second grade students will improve by at least 10% on their end of the year building goal assessment compared to the pre-assessment that they took earlier in the fall. So based on unit assessments, they are on track to show 10% progress overall on all three grades. I'm sorry, both grades. And Mrs. Oluwole has what she calls her other goal, and this has to do with students' performance in the specials, art, music, and uh, physical education. And we're also, uh, also have met that goal for you. With regard to college and career readiness and equity, uh, the college and, co college and career readiness is really difficult to measure in the K-2 building because the state measures college and career readiness through uh, chronic absenteeism. So we are not using chronic absenteeism in a year where kids missed a lot of school because of uh, COVID infection and isolation. So we looked at what we know to be college and career readiness, which is computer readiness and computer skills. So um, the K-2 college and career readiness goal was that 80% of Keele students, um, second graders specifically, will achieve a score of at least 70 via learning.com, which is our technology preparation program at that grade span, um, in the 12 essentials of dig digital literacy. So at this point, we have already met that goal. So we are obviously on target to meet by the end of the school year because we've already met it. Um, the equity goal in Keel really dealt with um, being kind, being fair, being respectful. So uh, the way it's written is Mrs. Olawole and her, and her staff wanted to ensure that Keel students have um, an equitable opportunity to learn and achieve excellence for the highest standards regardless of the challenges or identified needs. So uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion have been a focus in Keel all year long. Uh, between classroom conversations, Mrs. Tinney, the um, uh, school counselor, pushing into classrooms. Um, and they've worked on things like being fair, being kind, being respectful, which all come under our full value, character education program, bullying prevention things, uh, and programs such as autism awareness. Um, it's their approach to those situations and circumstances. Uh, they are continuously striving to meet the students' needs through applying this lens. Looking at Stony Brook, Stony Brook had similar goals, 80% in, in, with regard to language arts, 80% of students in third, fourth, and fifth will achieve at or above grade level in the English language arts as measured by the June Learning Records Assessment. So at midpoint, 70% of all the students in kindergarten, third, fourth, and fifth had already met the goal, and that breakout is there for you. You can see it, 55 for K, 68 for 3, 77 for 4, and 83 for 5. Math goal is a similar goal, 80% of the students in 3rd, 4th, and 5th will improve by 20% on their end of the year everyday math assessment and uh, broken up by 20% of the students in each grade. So currently we are at 78% and it's able. So we are also on target to meet that goal. And, and Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Ustel's other and Mrs. Coleman's other goal was uh, to take a look at the students that are identified for guided study and that's our students that are in basic skills reading instruction and to take a look to see uh, how many students we can um, opt, you know, bring out of that program because they they're, have reached grade level. 
So currently 25 of the 30 students have met that goal and are ready to leave that uh, supplemental program. Their college and career readiness goal at Stony Brook uh, is to improve school culture and climate. A lot of the baseline data was, was actually measured by the climate sur survey that we did through Penn Round and working on self-advocacy skills um, to develop growth mindset and ability to persevere. So all of these things, growth mindset, perseverance, self-advocacy, those are all college and career ready readiness um, uh, qualities. So they are, have been uh, holding activities each month to build school culture and climate, uh, and you can see what they've done there. Week of kindness, school spirit days, school assemblies, um, uh, those same assemblies that were held at Keele that were supported by Keisha, um, and uh, they are on target to meet that goal. Their equity goal is uh, to develop relationships that support and foster social, emotional, and academic needs to ensure individual student success, uh, to create procedures to eliminate barriers so that all students can participate and experience success in high quality curricular and extracurricular programs. And um, Mrs. Tenga, along with the uh, administrators and teachers there, have been working with the students on a variety of topics um, with regard to handling conflicts and working through social and emotional needs. Um, and they do have a tremendous uh, amount of opportunities for students, and our students are taking advantage of those opportunities. PRM schools are similar to Stony Brook and, and Keogh with regard to ELA and math. 85% uh, of 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students will be um, by the end of the year, reading at the recommended exit level for their grade. So that's a W for sixth grade, seventh grade is a Y, and I don't expect if you're not a literacy person or a reading teacher that you know what these levels are, but that's the level for the exit on the grade level. And eighth is a Z. So at this point, in, uh, actually it was earlier in the year that they did their um, reading, uh, running records. We are already at 79 plus for sixth graders, 94 of seventh graders, and 91% of the 8th graders that are already reading at their exit level at this point in the year. For math, similar, 6th uh, and 8th grade, 85% of those students in 6th and 8th grade will demonstrate proficiency at a level at or above 80% in the math classes. So in this case, um, these are all based on currently on uh, unit assessments that are, have been given across the school year. And you can see that we are at 71.6 for 6th, 63.5 for 7th and 676.2. Uh, Mr. Mongan is confident that they're going to meet those goals. I actually put progress made toward them because we're a little, kind of a little bit below where we would be in, in a regular year. College and career readiness goals at Paul Miller. Uh, our kids set, um, set their own, uh, their own long-term goals. And they had to do with academics, social and emotional learning, or self-advocacy. So the students were given check-in surveys throughout the year and will continue to be given those surveys and they looked at, I achieved my goal, 14% of our students achieved the goal they set for themselves, 63.1 are close to achieving their goal, 4.5, almost 5% need a new plan or assistance to achieve their goals, and about 18.5% have uh, some work to do to achieve their goal. And the equity goal here has to do with um, students having an opportunity to learn from people of diverse backgrounds who have demonstrated resilience and overcoming challenges. Um, this is uh, related to the Stories of Adversity and Resilience program. So they do um, surveys after each presentation and the percentage of students who viewed the assembly and were able to indicate that they learned something were listed below. So 92.9 learned something from Pedalita. 100% uh, of students indicated they learned something from Adam Perone, and 95.6 indicated they learned something from Marching Eden Downing. The high school achievement goals, um, Mr. Suda and his team actually looked at using the Start Strong assessment, which was given in the fall. Start Strong was, uh, is a state assessment that um, determines whether or not students have met prerequisite skills to be successful in the next grade level. So there were uh, students that were indicated that strong support may be needed for them to be successful in their current grade level. So 80% of the 9th, 10th, and 11th grade uh, language arts students who start strong score was strong support may be needed. Um, we wanted to see them achieve proficiency on, and then of course assessment. But based on course assessments, unit assessments going across the year, we are already, have already met that goal for ELA. 
And for math, 80%, uh, same, same concept, we start strong. We're looking at trying to get 80% of our Algebra 1 and Geometry students to be on grade level. We are very close with geometry. Uh, we've talked about it many times here, about our weakness in algebra as a result of, of pandemic plus some other stuff that's happened. So we are making progress toward the goal, at least definitely in geometry, and moving, trying to move those kids in algebra. If you would. students, 1,577 enrollments, 